friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jennifer and I am an interior designer. Today, I wanna to share with you seven tips on how to make a cozy home. But before we jump into it, be sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Firstly, I want to say a few things about making a home. A cozy home is more than just a well-decorated space. It's a sanctuary that embraces warmth, comfort, and a sense of belonging. Creating a cozy home is an ongoing process that involves both design choices and lifestyle habits. But maybe you feel like because your home is an open concept that you can't create a cozy atmosphere. Maybe you feel like your budget doesn't allow you to invest in how your home feels. But listen, this world is filled with hardship from stressful jobs to world politics to taking care of parents or children. It can all weigh us down. You deserve to come home to a house that makes you feel comforted and safe. A place where you can recharge and reset and maybe you want to open your home up to others so that they can come over and feel that comfort too. Well, if that sounds like you, this will be a great video to watch because whether you're watching this and you have a large grand house or maybe a tiny apartment, you can have a cozy house. I'm going to share some tips to do just that. And some of these tips require investment and others are very budget Friendly. So I recommend watching all the way through and making the most of each tip in whatever stage of life you're in because you deserve a cozy home. Let's start with tip number one, declutter and simplify. I won't spend too much time on this tip because we all know it's true. If your home is cluttered, you're going to feel stress. Having a mess in the home is the opposite of cozy. So remove unnecessary items and keep only the essentials. Clear surfaces and create a clean slate to work with. If you find you always have clutter in a certain area, think about a solution to that habit. Maybe you need to put a basket there to house items or just get a piece of furniture that has a drawer or maybe you just need to introduce a new habit, like taking five minutes before bed to put things away. Whatever you can do to be more organized and reduce clutter, make it a priority to solve that issue. This is the first step to creating a peaceful and cozy environment, so don't skip out on this tip. Number two, lighting. This one may seem like a no-brainer, but I'm going to give you some tips that will take your home from cold to cozy. First, add lamps to balance the lighting in a room. Overhead lighting can often be way too harsh and exposing. Create warmth by using lamps to diffuse light around the room. Now, is overhead lighting always bad? Well, of course not. It has its uses and there are many times you need overhead lighting to do a task like playing a game or cooking in your kitchen. That's a great time to use overhead lighting. You may also have overhead lighting that is dimmable. That is a fantastic way to keep the room well lit but not overexposed. I'm a big fan of dimmable lighting. But if you're looking to make a space feel more comfortable and cozy, use lamps instead. You can also use lamps in addition to the overhead lighting, but nothing is quite as cozy as just using lamps around the room. Now, how many lamps should you have in say a living room? Well, I suggest no less than three lamps and no more than five. This is of course depends on the size of your living space, but typically you'll have at least two side tables and room for a floor lamp. Other spaces may have additional room for a lamp on a console or a bookcase. Now another way you can use lighting to make your home more cozy is by choosing the correct light bulbs. Think about it. 
Nothing feels more jarring and sterile than bright and cool toned lights. So to create a more comfortable space, consider choosing light bulbs that are warmer. The warmth of a light bulb is measured in a unit called kelvins. The lower the kelvin, the warmer the light. The higher the kelvin, the cooler and whiter the light. I highly recommend choosing a warm bulb in the 2700 range to create a cozy environment. Number three, color palettes. The third tip is to choose a color palette for your space. There are two ends to the spectrum. On the one end, you've got spaces with too much going on. There are multiple competing patterns and textures, and there are colors of every hue with no coordination. This causes visual clutter and it can be overbearing. There's no flow or intention in the space, and this can cause subconscious stress. On the other end is extreme minimalism. Falling into this category is a space that has no color or texture at all, and it almost feels empty and like no one lives there. It is absent of personality and feels cold. This can make you feel on edge. So how can we meet these two extremes in the middle? Well, one way is by choosing a color palette. By selecting three to five colors to work with, you avoid having too much colorful stimulation in the room and you avoid leaving a space feeling void of interest. So choose some coordinating colors and incorporate them into your space. I recommend selecting at least one neutral color to work with as your base, then one bold color, and one to three other coordinating colors. Does this mean you can only use these exact colors? Of course not. You can use varying hues within that range as well, but just try not to stray away from the original colors you selected. This will help you create a cohesive space that inspires coziness. Number four, music. This tip may seem out of place, but it is an element that should not be ignored. Have you ever been to a party that felt awkward, sprinkled with silent moments? What was missing? It was probably background music. I have always been a huge believer in creating coziness with music. In fact, when my daughter comments on memories of her childhood, she always mentions the music I was playing. It is the soundtrack to her memories of love and safety. You can establish these same feelings for yourself or for your guests by playing music in your home. Choose music in a genre you love, but keep in mind what your goal is. For instance, if you're going to work out at a gym, are you going to choose soft piano music? Nope. You're going to choose something upbeat to get you moving. Well, the opposite is true for relaxing. Select music that is peaceful. It doesn't have to be piano or instrumental, but it should be something that invokes a sense of relaxation and joy. Music creates a moment. In fact, when I get done designing a home and I'm about to do the big reveal for the client, I always put on soft music to welcome them in. Music invites emotion. So invite coziness by playing happy tunes in the background. Number five, invest in comfortable furniture. Now this tip may not be feasible for everyone, but it is an important layer to creating coziness. When choosing furniture, consider choosing pieces that not only catch your eye, but also invite you to sink in and stay a while. While stylish furniture can be appealing, always prioritize comfort over trends. Remember, your living room is a place for relaxation and unwinding. Choose durable but soft materials for your upholstered furniture. If it's in your budget, choose performance fabric. Performance fabric has come a long way in recent years. It used to be scratchy and feel like outdoor fabric but nowadays it feels just like regular fabric, but with a superior durability and stain resistance. For example, at my store, we sell performance fabric that is 
velvet. <laughs> so it feels just like regular velvet, but can repel liquids and stains like Sharpie markers and ketchup. They come right off. This kind of stain resistant fabric can put people at ease because they're not worried about ruining their sofa or chair. So by prioritizing comfort and investing in quality materials, you can create a cozy living space that not only looks inviting, but also feels like a warm embrace every time you step through the door. And while it's important to consider the size of your furniture in relation to your living space, don't forget to think about the scale of the furniture in relation to your body. Oversized furniture can create a sense of coziness and enveloping comfort, while smaller pieces may feel more intimate. Don't forget to arrange furniture to encourage conversations. Create a seating arrangement that allows easy interaction and connection. Consider placing furniture around a focal point, like a fireplace or a coffee table. This can help create a sense of intimacy and help instigate a natural flow of conversation. Number six, scents. This tip goes hand in hand with music. The importance of scents cannot be overstated. The sense of smell plays an important role in the psychological effects of mood, stress, and working capacity. Research has even shown that certain scents can help reduce stress, anxiety, and even depression. It is about creating an atmosphere of coziness and with the power since hold to shape our feelings, it is definitely a factor in creating a cozy space. So choose a scent that you feel invokes relaxation and warmth. If you have a diffuser, look up essential oil blends that use your favorite scents and have the benefits you're aiming for. If you choose a candle, make sure you choose a non-toxic candle that burns clean and won't give you a headache perhaps a soy or beeswax candle with essential oils. No matter what way you choose to scent your home, consider it a staple in creating a cozy environment. Number seven, textiles. When you search cozy spaces on Google or Pinterest, what comes up? Well, it's almost always a big upholstered chair or a large bed with fluffy pillows and layered blankets. Why is that? Well, because those are the coziest spaces that we can think of. So by using those examples, let's talk about the importance of textiles. The first example I'd like to talk about is drapes or window treatments. Think about it. The vast majority of textiles like rugs, upholstery, bedding are in the bottom half of the room. This leaves the upper part of the walls subject to feeling cold. Of course, I don't mean cold as in temperature, but visually cold. Bring texture, pattern, and color up the walls by introducing fabric. Not only does it warm up the space significantly, but it also helps to eliminate echoing. And remember, always hang your drapes higher than the window to create height in the room. You can also hang them a few inches wider than the window to make the window seem larger than it really is. Now, let's talk about rugs. Rugs are a fantastic way to bring pattern and color into a space. If you have hardwood floors, it softens the room, and just like drapes, a rug can help eliminate echoing. Now, when selecting a rug for a living room, I recommend choosing a size large enough for at least the front legs of the seating to sit on. This will balance out the space perfectly. You can go larger, of course, but I would not recommend going smaller or the scale of the room will be off. What about pillows? A soft and fluffy pillow is the best way to make seating go from bland to inviting. I recommend down pillows as they are the fluffiest and can be reshaped if they get flat. If you're allergic to down, there are down alternatives out there that work just as well. But make sure you choose a fluffy insert for your pillows. Stiff or flat pillows, well, they're just sad and imply neglect. Blankets. Choose a throw blanket for your seating adds another level of coziness. It allows you or your guests to wrap themselves in it and feel at ease. 
especially during the winter months. Having blankets around the room can offer a sense of comfort that can shelter you from the frigid winter weather. So by following these steps, you'll transform your living room into a cozy space where you can unwind, relax, and enjoy the warmth of your personalized and inviting space. You can cultivate an environment that not only looks inviting, but also feels like a warm embrace, making your home a true sanctuary of comfort and joy. Whether your home is big or small, using these seven tips will help you on your path to creating a cozy home. Be sure to watch some of my other videos on homemaking and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.